Loren, what can people do who have to fly for work? What precautions can you recommend to people or anyone who might live in an area around one of these facilities? And we, there's lots of facilities around the United States. You mentioned them at the beginning of the broadcast. Um, Pentax and Idaho and um, Tennessee so I, Valley. Yeah. I, I think the most important thing is for people to have um, personal Geiger counters or dosimeters so that when you hear that going off, you can it, it's alerting you that you're being exposed to radiation and you can leave the area or refuse to fly or whatever you need to do to escape. Um, I don't believe anybody anymore uh, working for the government or any uh, any institution uh, that is supposed to be protecting your health and the environment. The Atomic Energy Commission and the military set up the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, and that was to, um, to protect the government and the military's uh, nuclear weapons testing program and to hide the harm uh, from the citizens of America. The, they also set up the U.S. military and the Atomic Energy Commission then went on to set up the National Institutes of Health and the National Cancer Institute to protect the government and the military's programs. And they also sent up the Centers for Disease Control. So all of the agencies, government official agencies, that American citizens think are there to protect them, it's absolutely the opposite. So um, another thing to avoid is the x-ray machines in the airports. Whatever you do, don't go through those. Ask for a pat-down. Uh, I've done it many times, and uh, the TSA... Uh, agents, personnel have been very courteous, and I didn't have any problems at all. I'm not going through any of those x-ray machines. I went through one. I was at the Tokyo airport. I was on my way back to the U.S. from Malaysia from a war crimes conference there, and um, the this uh, agent came out, this older man came out and pulled me out of the line. I was waiting to check in and give them my bags. He said, come with me, and he took me somewhere, and um, uh, I was disoriented, and he just opened the door, and he shoved me backwards into uh, one of those x-ray machines and zapped me. And then when I came out, I had, uh, then I went through the security, and they found uh, a bag of film in my backpack which was in a protective lead bag and they said uh, can we take this and, and check it and I said okay and um, uh, I'm certain that they switched the film on me uh, every time I've gone through the Tokyo airport documents have disappeared from my bags from my backpack newspaper articles that uh, I was interviewed in different countries and uh, this has also happened to Alfred Weber, who's done a lot of interviews with me. So uh, it's all a web of deception, and uh, the, the citizens of the world are the real target, and they're just making a lot of money on us, making us sick and, and selling their uranium. Well, and it's part of control, too, isn't it? Because people who are sick can't really fight back. That's right, and... Um, and uh, Americans and, and people in North America, the Northern Hemisphere, are just going to die from long, lingering illnesses. Um, like I mentioned before in the last interview, Chase Bank owns CVS uh, Pharmacy. Uh, the bankers are buying the pharmaceutical companies and the drug stores, and they're, uh, they're putting drive-through windows in these pharmaceutical in these pharmacies so that they can make even more money because they're illegally selling drugs also without prescriptions. The saying, the canary in a coal mine, 
It was an allusion to caged canaries that mining workers would carry down into the tunnels with them. And if dangerous gases such as methane or carbon monoxide leaked into the mine shaft, the gases would kill the canary before it killed the miners. In regards to someone whose sensitivity to adverse conditions makes it a useful early indicator of such conditions, something which warns of the coming of greater danger or trouble by a deterioration in its health or welfare. I want to recommend the Gamma Scout Geiger counter from Germany. It's excellent. And everyone should have one of those. They come with a 12-year battery. They're excellent Geiger counters. Um, you asked, you know, how can we protect ourselves? Well, that's one of the best ways. It's to actually measure the radiation. You can trust that. I, I wouldn't trust any government or uh, agency or health department. Um, I think they're all terrorist organizations. Many of the nuclear workers that I've talked to who have since retired from the industry have told me the same thing. Whatever you do, do not trust your government to Absolutely. tell you things are okay. No, they're not. That's right. We're on our own. You have to take responsibility for your life, for your family, for your children, and you have to educate yourself uh, in order to be able to protect yourself. The government isn't protecting us. We're in this mess because of the government. Lorena, thank you so much for joining me today in this discussion. I know six celebrities aren't something either one of us usually discuss, but I think um, we could definitely use some help gathering information. If you guys come across any articles that pertain to this discussion that we had today, please email them to me at christinax4 at yahoo.com. We will also be accepting mutation images. Um, Lauren, you are probably most renowned for your work in research related to depleted geranium as a weapon of war and genocide, and it would be wonderful to have you back to discuss that and other nuclear crimes against populations in more detail, including the 70,000 U.S. servicemen and women who provided relief efforts to the people of Japan after the 9.0 earthquake, of which many of them now are now coming down with serious illnesses, cancer, birth defects, and other issues, and they have started their own lawsuit against TEPCO. And we can also continue collecting the sudden cardiac death um, articles, too, because I have a few of those as well. Yes, and I'd, I'd like to encourage um, the listening audience to our listeners to uh, send images. Uh, you can email them to Christina or to me um, of mutations. Uh, please pass these interviews around to your family, your friends, uh, post them, put them on Facebook, but circulate this information, please, because the more people are educated about this and the more aware they are, the more difficult it is for the ruling elite to go on with these insane uh, eugenics and depopulation programs. The canary in the coal mine is our babies and our children. That's another form of, of monitoring the radiation. And I know that grandmothers and mothers today know there's something terribly wrong and they know it's environmental because the children and the babies are not thriving. It's, uh, it's going to take many people, and I know we can do it, but I think... We need to, to turn off radiation, ionizing radiation. Radiation respects no borders, no socioeconomic group, and no religion. I've also had a number of people contact me since our last interview saying that they have noticed an increase in babies with birth defects in their areas. Um, in the DMV, while they're waiting... Um, you know, just in places where they're in public where they see people they wouldn't normally come across. After that interview, I had a bunch of emails 
from people saying, you know what, I am noticing that. And when you know what to look for, you do see it everywhere. And it's like having eyes all over when you share these stories with us too, because we can use it to gather more information and do more shows and help make people aware of what's going on and how we can protect ourselves. We will really look forward to speaking with you again, Loren. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Christina. Nuked Radio airs Tuesdays and Thursdays from 1 to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on UCY-TV. Check out our archive of 100 past shows, including the two-year anniversary interview that I did with Loren. It's on FukushimaFacts.com and on YouTube. Please share love, caring, and concern for your fellow man, and together we can find answers of how to stop getting nuked. Stay safe, everyone.